Welcome to Lesson 4.4, Using Corresponding Parts of Congruent Triangles. With said angle side, angle side angle, and angle angle side, you know how to use three congruent parts of two triangles to show that the triangles are congruent. Once you know that two triangles are congruent, you can make conclusions about their other corresponding parts because, by definition, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So let's practice with Problem 1, Proving Parts of Triangles Congruent. In problem one, we're given that angle KBC is congruent to angle ACB, and that angle K is congruent to angle A. And we're trying to prove that segment KB is congruent to segment AC. So step one, let's go with our given information. Angle KBC is congruent to angle ACB. Next, let's say that segment BC is congruent to segment BC because of the reflexive property of congruence. And then we're going to pull in our second piece of given information and say that angle K is congruent to angle A. So now we can say that triangle KBC is congruent to triangle ACB by the angle-angle side theorem. And now, since we know that these two triangles are congruent, we can say that segment KB and segment AC are congruent because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Now you try.